Hello. Okay. So this is the premature update video because it's only been about a week, but uh, the Nick's Boots video has gotten quite a few views. The White's video, not as many, but in the Nick's one, I kind of held them up as a comparison. So I guess this is a little bit clickbait if you're thinking this is like a direct head-to-head -head of like which brand is better. That's not exactly what we're going with. This is more like first impressions of wearing both of them for about the same amount of time. Okay. Um, for starters, though, I did take the tongue protectors from the Knicks and put them in the Truman boots just because they're way too short for the Knicks boots. And I had been so advised to um, break in the tongues separate from you know adding or break in the boots separate from adding the tongue protectors um i don't know if that's entirely great advice ish we'll, i'll get to that in a minute um but these are obviously the wrong color so if you like contrast that's what you get they're not they don't exactly seem to want to sit in the same same position like this one shows off more boot and this one wants to go farther down and height all the way to the cap toe i don't know if they always do that or that's just an annoying thing. Um, in a previous video, I had talked about the Truman boots. Again, I, I had said, oh, I like these better than the Knicks boots. It wasn't necessarily meant to be a one-to-one -one comparison with every single Knicks boot available. Okay. <laughs> I was meaning more like the boots that Knicks makes that are like this without the arch support and all that. These can have nicer leather for a lower price. So, Okay whether or not I can get these rebuilt with arch support and mega in there in the future. I don't know. Obviously I would have to get a taller heel stack added. This isn't going to be a Truman boots video. I'm just mentioning that from before that nobody mentioned, but I assume somebody will sooner or later and I can say disclaimer. Okay. Cause obviously this boot and that boot are not the same boot. And I'm not trying to pretend that this boot is the same as this boot. But what I was just talking about with this, having not used that lace protector, you can see we're getting a fair amount of wear and scuffing after only a couple hours. Now, I had been advised to wear these around in the carpet, not just to try them on, but for about 15 minutes. And then if they were still too tight or whatever, then, you know, exchange them. Um... After about 15 minutes, I figured they were fine, and I wore them for about an hour, and then the next day I wore them for a walk around the block and probably at least another hour. Um, I do have some blistering now on the top of my foot, which I assume is more from this boot, even though I also wore the White's boots. If I said Frank's earlier, it's because I had that other video in my head also to clarify. I know I said Frank's in the last video when I meant White's at least once. <laughs> it's because I had just watched Carl's video where he was talking about Drew's boots and Frank's boots. And why I didn't say Drew's boots a bunch of times instead of Nick's boots is probably a miracle. Okay. Another disclaimer. Uh, but you can see I got a little bit of crinkling here, a bare bit. This one I got some bit of vegetation landed on it and left an acid spot on my brand new leather already so that's why you don't wear them outdoors <laughs> if you think you're going to need to exchange them um but these rivet deals you can see where these rivet deals do make a bit of an indent and a bite and a hope and a hey and a hope shana if that's not copyrighted enough um so that's hence the tongue protectors but again this flap on both of these brands is fairly thick I've heard that the JK Boots uses a thinner one, which I think might actually be a good common sense move now, because I think instead of viewing having to replace this as the end of the world, maybe it should be viewed more as a necessary evil when you get them resold, and that way you'd wear the tongue protectors right off the bat with less agitation and with less damage done to this, because eventually I'm still going to have to replace this and maybe even sooner now trying to break it in without the tongue protector. So, eh, I don't know. 
Uh, but I was watching Wrangler Star or whatever his video a few days ago, and the sun had showed up, and he had it seemed like such an easy time just folding this gusset and doing the thing. And um, that guy has I don't know a size eleven feet or something, so he must have just like way more to work with up here because as soon as I start trying to, as soon, I get it folded kind of the way I want it, but then as soon as I start lacing it, it wants to crinkle and bunch in ways that I don't want to. And there's no way to kind of do because you have to undo everything to kind of redo and then pull and the dit and, and 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 of course I had complained that I wanted eyelets, which may or may not have solved that problem and pro probably might have even made it harder. But I feel like I still would prefer eyelets with this rawhide stuff. Uh, so I have plans to replace this rawhide stuff for with nylon laces in the next couple of days and that'll hopefully help during the break-in process and then maybe i'll switch back to these we're going to look cool um as for the inside where it's smooth yeah it hasn't been bothering my blisters where i had um damaged my foot pretty good from the previous boot challenge of two different pairs of boots uh the wear pattern the wear pattern on these is both pretty similar so far i mean i didn't like mix and match these with the other boots or anything the arch support is pretty stiff but not that all went out of focus now lovely um well i don't know if that'll ever come back and focus or not <laughs> great that's what you get with modern electronics I don't know why it's blurry. Okay, well, now that's blurry. Um, anyway, the arch. Yeah, I mean, I assume that some of that is just the break in time, and that's what we're waiting for. Um, but this arch and this toe and everything, as I predicted, is a lot friendlier to my foot. Again, people are going to say, oh, of course you picked the Knicks boots over the Whites boots because they cost less. And yeah, but they were both compromised boots. I mean, I would have liked a nicer looking leather if I could get it and yada, 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 and the eyes instead of the hooks and yada, yada, yada. But like I showed in the last video, this, this is shorter here. It wasn't crushing my toes like I thought it would be, though. The pliant leather, that wasn't the issue. The arch was definitely the issue. It seems to be in a slightly different place, not quite with the contour of my foot more than that one. So again, hopefully when it breaks down back toward the heel here, that will be less of an issue. Otherwise, like, you know, the wear patterns are pretty similar, except again, here we have a more aggressive riveting system. So we have even more visible holes and black really shows this better than brown, same as the in my photo you could really see this logo where you couldn't see the other one at all um this the big deal obviously i prefer this big time uh, i have a park nearby oh no it's not blurry i have a park nearby with a sand track and i've been walking these on sand because on asphalt this is absolute murder. It's like insult to injury on top of the arch thing. Uh, this black outsole is just not for wimps, okay? <laughs> like, if you're going to walk on the street, you will feel every footfall jamming you. I don't know how long that'll take to break in. I wore these. Uh, after I did those for about an hour, I did these. And so maybe I went in the wrong order again, same as the other head to head. Maybe I would have been happier if I had wore these first and then those, which is what I did the next day. Instead, I started with these and then switched to those. So it was a lot easier to walk around the block in those after walking on the dirt track with these. Um, yeah, find a, find a surface more like that. And it's a little more forgiving. And I was getting kind of used to them, but definitely this last and I may never be friends. Uh, so if there's any head to head going on here, I prefer that 55 to whatever this one is. This one is definitely 
I don't know, sh shorter, more compact, everything kind of in the wrong space. That's my, my main kind of complaint. Let me show the other one here. And then the, I just left the tag on because I don't care. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, the same wear and tear. The big difference here though is with these, I tried to put in a shoe tree because this is going to collapse and wear. And I guess Weston kind of designed it to do that on purpose. But if I'm spending 700 bucks on a pair of boots, I'd like to decide when they collapse and fall apart. So I had put this shoe tree in this boot and it kept wanting to pop out and I feel like it wouldn't go in the heel right. In this one, I'm worried that it might damage the heel a bit. I'm not sure. But at least for now, until I get some boot trees that I prefer or whatever, if they'll do because I had two extra pairs lying around. So I thought, perfect, I have two pairs of boots. I have two pairs of shoe trees. But could not put the shoe trees in this one successfully all the way because just won't fit because this is too short and this is too angled or something. I don't know. <laughs> this, heel, this heel is not even as high as the other one, so I have no idea why. But for whatever reason, the shoe tree will not fit in this boot correctly. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, otherwise, I mean, you know... It, you can see the sand and you can see where I picked the rocks and stuff out of the little nail holes. Not that you can see it because I took them out, but I hate when I'm walking and I'm hearing some weird crunchy noise or something. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and wear them both again. Maybe not today. I'll probably, probably, probably wear these a bit because these need a break in. Through. And uh, I'll do an update when I do an update. Yep. So if anybody has any questions, something they forgot I or feel I forgot, whatever, you know the drill.